flies. How y'all doing? Welcome to chatting with me, with me, Miss V. Come on in. Chewing on a gummy, candy, sweet tooth, and it's stuck all in my teeth. But I'm drinking that water. So y'all better come on up in here. And I'm, I'm getting it down. Y'all told me today I need to drink more. I'm drinking it. All right. I already got one in the trash can. This two for the evening. I had four this morning. I'm getting it in, baby. Hey, that they come. What's up? What's shaking? Um, Sting, the first one in the building tonight. Hey, Sting, how's it going? And Misty, I'm here. Hey, Jersey girl, you made it live, huh? Peace and blessings, Lady V. And Chad, thank you. And thank you for the roses, the hearts, whatever you got going on. What you saying, 18? My lower back is so sore and shooting pains. You need to go get you one of them tens that I bought, uh, Auntie. That's what you need to go get. Send the hubby down there to get you one. Lumbar disc bulge. Oh, I've had one of them before when I fell off that uh, railroad track out there. That was in the 80s. I told y'all about that. My daughter was four, I think, when that happened. And my mom ended up keeping her all year long. That ain't nothing nice. They had to go in and do the injection and my L4 and my L5 are small and shrunk when you look at them on the x-ray. You got to take care of that because that's pain. Them discs start hitting that nerve. You're going you gonna to know what I mean. God is telling you to relax, but he better be telling you to go up there and see about that disc bulge. Baby, they'd have you bent over like old folks. I'm not lying to you. Ha, okay, thank you for the hard thing. She's speaking to everybody. Look at Elaine. Good evening, Elaine. I always be so happy when I see you make a lie because she catch every replay. I ain't lying to you, y'all. She catch them all. You like my hat? I just put on some after I got out the shower tonight. I said, I don't feel like doing the hair. And this hat was up in there. And I said, I don't think I ever wore this hat before i bought it but i ain't never wore it so i just crimped it up on one side and put it on it kind of matched the las vegas t-shirt i say oh you don't matter there's a bunch of colors up there and a bunch of colors down here put it together and make it happen that's what i did um yes ma'am my mom just left she spent the day with me wonderful i wish so much i still had one because we were so close and to have her here now and me looking like her, that would be awesome. I don't quite act like her. She was better mannered than I am, you know, a nicer person than I am. But I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Folks, leave you alone. You can make it, but they ain't going to leave you alone. So I may never accomplish that mission, but I'm trying. Yes, ma'am. There's the yo-yo in the building. Hey, yo. Audrey, hi, Miss V in chat. This author won't let me wear them, but I still love to display them. Babe, you better tell Arthur he better take a ride. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for him. Arthur better ride on up out of here. Yeah, he, he always interfering in our lives and stuff. And you ain't got to be old for Arthur to start riding. Just get an injury. And he'll, he'll come bring his ass over there and visit. And ain't nobody invited him. But to display your heels, baby. I know what you mean. I like them heels, too. And yeah, I'm going to get back in mine. That's the goal. Unfortunately, when self-employed, you have nobody to take over the way you do it. So I sat in my office too long. I'm using the tens. Okay, the chiropractor helped a bit, but it takes a day l4 acts up sometimes it's gonna take longer than a day for that boast to go away but do what you gotta do ain't he all right the trolls are coming in and i'm gonna talk to them tonight because i know they're not educated they can't be y'all saw the topic what it said hey trolls take a seat kick back relax and listen to what miss v got to say tonight i'm early 
Because I'm different. I ain't like the rest of the people in the world. I ain't even like my siblings. How many times I got to tell y'all that? Trolls, take a seat with your uneducated button. Let Miss V talk to you tonight, okay? Uneducated people come in and do what you're doing, okay? Yep, I done figured it out. Hey, hey, Zeus, how you doing? I have a hey, Zeus on my first run in the morning. He's in a wheelchair. He was the one I was telling you about. Got that state-of-the-art wheelchair, baby. Oh, it's got a little computer on it and everything. He ain't come to school today either. I guess he didn't want to get wet. I don't blame him. Uh, Sting, exactly, Miss B. I look exactly like my mom. I didn't until I started getting older in my 60s. Well, no, it was when she first passed away. I saw her in the casket, and it was a scary image because I saw me laying there. Yeah, she had lost a lot of weight from the cancer because she was always like a 16, 18, and I've never been that large except for when I was pregnant. But mm -mm, I saw me because she was down to probably about a 10, 12 laying there. Yeah, that was kind of nerve-wracking. How you doing, Jesus? Um... Miss Jennifer made it in. Hello, Miss B. And chat driving, but listening, everyone. Hello. Thank you, Jen, for coming in. Keep your eyes on that road, baby. I don't know how the weather is where you are, but uh, keep your eyes on the road, okay? Okay. Let's see. Going on down. Grain of the corn. Hello. How you doing, grain of the corn? Welcome to chatting with Miss V. Be nice, and you can stay in here. I've never seen you before. Come on in the building. Let's talk about it. Missy, what is you laughing about? What did I say already? Because I never know. But y'all always seem to think, how are you? I'm good, grain of the corn. And yourself? Exactly. When I hit 64, I looked in the mirror and my mom was looking back at me. Yes, indeed. And laugh lines was there because I'm always smiling anyway. So you don't see them until I'm not smiling because I'm always. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I got to keep my teeth together because uh, baby, my mouth is always. Yes. Hey, Legend, look who came over. Baby Daddy decided to come over and visit tonight. Well, where you been, Legend? What you been doing? How you doing? Baby Gator, Baby Gator about to graduate. He about to go into the, he was in the first grade. See, he went to school this year. So I guess he going to the second grade next year. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Miss V is a, a month early. Yeah, I am. Because graduation's come between the first week in May throughout the end of May and some the 1st of June, depending on where you are, well, how they set the date. But I thought it was important to talk about it tonight because I got something I need to talk to the parents about. Go get them. Bring them in here. If you got children graduating, go, go get them. Sit them down. Miss V got something she need to tell them. And the time is now. You can't wait till a person graduates to talk to them. You got to talk to them now. There's some things they need to know. I don't care if they're graduating from kindergarten or elementary school, middle school, junior high school, high school, or college. They need to know what I got to say tonight, okay? Just working, Miss V. How is life treating you? It's good. It's good. And look, Gator, look, Gator lives a life for Riley. He don't have a worry in the world. All he do is just sit up there and smile all day long. Who could ask for a better child? <clears throat> That's him. Hello, Charles. How you doing? First time in the chat. Welcome to chatting with Miss V. Uh, let's see what you're saying, Audra. I'm named after my mom and look after her i truly wish i would have completed piano lessons she played at church 54 years i kind of regret that too my mama sent me to two te teachers i ain't like it now that did that, 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 i just something about well the first teacher turned me off because she had a little ruler and this is what she would do when you hit the wrong note boop, 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 hitting my fingers with that ruler and stuff i didn't like it then i went to miss Dunning's. And she was too slow for me. I had that. Come on. I wanted to play something else. So I just said, I don't want to do it. And that's when I went and got in the band. Grain of the corn. 
I love your enthusiasm, Miss V. You go back up. Make me smile. I hope you have an amazing day and wish you the best of luck. And I wish you the best of luck also. Thank you for coming in and talking to us, chatting with us tonight. See, I never know who's going to come in and chat with me. I never know. Whoever come in, that's who I chat with, okay? this that's I'm a chatting channel. But wait a minute. Pakashu, you are so cool. The, thank you, love. Welcome. Oh, I got lots of new people in here. Red Bunny Classic, how you doing? I played the violin for a while. Okay. Violin is some pretty music. I don't know if I could do them strings. I don't know. Because there's a lot of notes got to come out of a few strings. I ain't figured that out. Look at Brittany that hung up. Come and sneak in through the back door to hang out with these hoodlum friends of us. Come on in, Brittany. We're going to talk about something that's... Don't you have a son graduating, Brittany? You need to be up in here. Go get him. Uh-huh. Um, Y'all coming in too fast right now, though. I don't watch movies, baby. I, I very rarely watch movies. Cam Miller, how you doing? Hey, mama, what city you're in? Houston. Houston, I need to turn on some more light because if the sun was coming out, it was a little out there when I first got on, but now it's looking cloudy and it's getting dark. So I guess I need to look, shed a little light on the subject. I don't know. You know, sticking my booty all up in y'all face with my cut-off shorts on. I'm comfy. I'm up in my home. Yeah. I turned on the fan. Jesus Christ, help me. Turn the light on. All right. There we go. Ah, uh, what you saying? Pull that light back up. I messed up my, I took my case off my phone. You gonna stay there or what? And I probably should have put it back on because now it's slipping out the stand. You are so cool. I hope you, okay, I read that one. Y'all going too fast for me now. You got, you're doing too much. Okay, y'all talking to each other. So let me talk to y'all about this graduation stuff here. That it's important. Don't y'all go nowhere. Go. I told y'all to go get your neighbors, your cousins, your friends, all of them. Because what I got to say tonight is important. If you have a child graduating, a grandchild, a cousin, a friend, a family member, you need to hear what I got to say. All right. So, if you have a kid graduating, I don't care where it's from, like I told you, all the things I've already named, now is the time that you really, really, really need to sit down and start looking at some grants, some scholarships, and last but not least, student loans. Now, hopefully, your child made some grades where you can get some help out there. And you know, there's a lot of different programs and a lot of different celebrities that give scholarships in different areas, you know, like I don't keep up with it no more because I ain't had a child to graduate since 1999 from high school and then 2000 and whatever, four or five from college, okay? So I don't keep up with that stuff no more, but y'all need to. Y'all need to start researching that, start looking into it right now. The more you can get, the less you have to spend out your ass pocket, and that's what you need to do. All right. How you doing, Iron Long Productions? Finally, a live stream that's speaking some sense. I try to speak sense every day. I ain't got time for foolery. It's enough foolery channels out here. I don't. Uh, that's not my style. But thank you. Okay. So... It doesn't matter if your child is going to see that at college is not for everybody. Let me let me just put that out there right now. It's not for everybody. And every kid don't want to go. Don't make them go if they don't want to go. Every kid needs to have a college degree, in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it grows them up for one thing. It's just like the military. It's going to be their first time away from home. 
Hopefully they won't live at home because that'll be like high school. If they're in a dormitory, they got to get used to people from around the world. You can almost tell. I, I can almost tell. I can only speak for myself. People with a college degree, people who had to go away and live away from family and friends and home where they didn't have nobody to have their back, and you had to interact with people internationally from around the world, it makes a difference, y'all. People who have high school degrees and they go out there, I don't have nothing against that, but this is 2024. And a high school degree is probably much like a sixth or seventh grade education today, in today's world. If you made it back then without one, consider yourself lucky. But if you coming up right now talking about graduating from high school and you ain't going to college, what you going to do? What kind of job you going to get making money these days? You got to open up your own business and it's got to be something that's going to be making some money. And that ain't the easiest thing in the world to do is run your own business. You got to be disciplined. You got to start off having some kind of money to even open up the business. Where you going to get the money from? The leases on these places are high unless you work from home. You still got to have a home to work from. It's got to be a business that you can work it from home. Okay? There are other trades out there I do want y'all to know. I'm, I'm going to name a few. Barbers make really good money. If they are in an area, wherever they are, as long as they're out there on a main drag, well, people can see they got a barbershop pole up there. They make money. I had two, four, six in my shop. $1,000 a week, cash money coming in. Most of them didn't use the debit card machine or the credit card machine. I did back in the beauty shop. But they got cash money up there. And if you can pull in twenty to twenty-five, thirty dollars, and every fifteen to twenty minutes, not an hour, they could cut a head of hair in fifteen to twenty minutes. You add that up, and they worked. Usually came in. Everybody came in between nine and ten. They left during the weekdays. Sometimes somewhere between six and seven. So they worked long hours. They took time off for lunch, but they ate their lunch in the barbershop in case somebody came in. They had running man chairs. And y'all probably never heard of that because I had never heard of. They came back there and they asked me, Miss Vicky, can we have a running man chair? What is a running man chair? If some doctor came in the door and he got to get back, if he would pay for the haircut that was there before him and he would take the chair. Okay, so the man that was sitting there wait benefited because he got a free haircut and then the barber benefited because he paid him more money to take him then. His tip was bigger. That's a running man chair. They also have cosmetologists out there. Can make grand theft money, especially if you know how to do natural hairstyles in these days and time. Mm hmm. There are some people who still want a professional look with a relaxer. If you can do it all, you can make money. I suggest if you go in that field, know how to cut, color, know how to do natural hair, braids, fingernails, toenails, do it all. Know it all. You can specialize in something once you get your clientele built up. But if somebody come through that door and they want their fingernails done, have the stuff ready, sit them down and do them. Money is green. Don't do no black beauty shop. Open the doors to everybody. My doors was open to everybody. I had everybody up in there. Vietnamese. Hardest hair I ever had to try to cut. Too straight. Yeah. Mexicans. I ain't care what color they were. But that's what that's got to do with anything. I had everything I done told y'all from the professional to the, the drug dealer to the preacher. The man who worked for Obama who was over the Space Center. He went up there to work for Obama when he was in the office. 
He was in there. A lot of astronauts came through there. A lot of nurses from the medical center. Doctors. Lawyers. Look, I'm out on the main drag. I'm on NASA One Road. My sign is up there, and it, it's telling you to come on in. Come, come on in, okay? It's somebody in here that can take care of you. And I want to say I had the best of the rest in my shop. I ain't never get no complaints. And they came back, 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 back every time you turn in. Mechanics make a lot of money, too. You got that right, thing. When your car is broke, somebody got to fix it. And everybody can't fix these cars these days. First of all, you ain't got the equipment. You got to have the equipment. Now, it ain't like shade tree back in the day where you could take a wrench and something else and go up underneath there and then everything you could do with that. No, ma'am. No. Uh-uh. Miss V, my son cut hair. They call it hot seat. Some pay $100 to get in the chair. You better believe it. That's it, Jen. Sure will. Um... Let me see if I missed anybody else. T. Hall say welding is a great trait. And you can go to the college in the mainland, which is a junior college. I don't know how long the program is, but it's not very long. People who own uh, equipment like um, backhoes or whatever, it, that kind of equipment always goes. Somebody going to always need something welded. It's money out there. And you can open up your own business with that and charge what you want to. Mechanic, the same thing. Yep. Learning the world. Some trades are better than some college degrees. You better believe it. If you go into a college degree, that that ain't a demand for you wasted money. You wasted time. Why would you do that? And you know it ain't no jobs out there in that. If you know technology is the wave of the future, then you need to be doing something in that field if you're not going to specialize as being a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer or something in the political arena. Yeah. And I totally agree with you learning the world. Uh, Let's see. I can tell from how people comment in the chat if they have an education. You, yeah, you, yeah, you can, and how simple-minded they are, and and the amount of education, like the trolls coming up in here. Those people are not educated people, because an educated person would have more to do with their life than sit up and make comments to a person that they don't even know. And just fell off into the chat asking you what y'all talking about over here. Well, where they do that at? I don't know. You too? Exactly, Miss V. My two sons went to college, but my daughter decided to travel. It's okay. Long as she can find her niche out there in the world to make money. Because that's the name of the game. You cannot live without it. Everything costs. Costs to live. So you gotta you gotta find your niche. If you don't go, and you got to make it make make it happen. Red bunny classic, as long as it's not a degree in left hand puppetry. I don't understand that. Um a college degree or a good trade. Exactly, legend. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's why I'm giving you some trades now. Uh Plant workers, where I worked, I had a college degree and didn't even go into the field. Well, I did for one year. I taught biology, okay, the sciences. But that wasn't enough money for me after four years. I went where the money was, okay. Them people was paying me out there. When I came through the door, I started out with $80,000. i am talking about in the 70s. That, that was like 100 and something now in the 70s, where I was only making twenty five thousand the first year i taught school i ain't finna do that no not me i made a year that's it um some people may want to go into divinity go to school for divinity i don't suggest you being a preacher either where's pastor thomas because i need him to hear this and not going to divinity school I think you need to go and learn the Bible. Just like you go and get an education, you need to be educated in that too. My opinion. Okay. 
Now, I got a video out here that I did months ago, and I meant to go back and look at the name of it, but we talked about colleges. We talked about the black college. It was doing black history, so it ain't been that long ago. It was back in February, and we talked about all the black colleges around, and a lot of them you can get help to go there. We talked about that in that video. Go back to my February video and find it. Almost every black college across the United States. We talked about the percentage of people who went there, who got help, and everything else. Find that video and go look at it. it it's a lot of good information on there. Okay. Start preparing your children for making independent decisions before they leave home because you're not going to be there to make no independent decision for them in my case i only had one child i raised a stepson with my child but the stepson decided to go to you uh where did he go u of h clear lake he wanted to become an electrician pointless to go to college if you know that's what you want to be Go out there and get your certificate and become an apprentice and go on around out there and make you some money. So he was very proud when the Walgreens redesigned their buildings and he did the apothecary jars up there in them corners all across South Houston. Mama, come look, come look. I did that. I did that. I'm like, okay, well, my money wasn't wasted. Uh-huh. Thanks to the Lord. But my daughter chose to go. And she went on. She like me. She go to school all the time. She left uh, Xavier. She went to Prairie View. She left there. She went to some school in Tennessee. She got a master's there. Pregnant with her first child. And her husband had been married three or four years when she had the first one. And she walked across the stage getting her master's pregnant. But she was determined. Yep. Yeah. Um... Let me get down here and see what y'all are saying. I got all of these. Hey, Lily, good evening. How you doing? Jennifer, Miss B, my son cut hair. They cut. Okay, I read that one. Hey, Evelyn, I talk. Where you been, Evelyn? I ain't seen you in a minute, but thank you for coming in and bringing me them roses. You know I appreciate you, girl. Um... Elaine B. is speaking to everybody. I think I might have two Elaines in here. I'm not sure. Jenny on the block, Yo-Yo is speaking to you. Brush Money Corporation Life Health Insurance Agents. Good evening. How you doing? Wow. Um, AC Repair, especially in Texas. You got that right. Havoc. That's what they call them. You know how to do that. Because it's, it's warm here nine months out of a year. So if you know how to do that, you're going to make money. And all these buildings sitting up there in the heat. You cannot sit in these sky rises in Houston, Texas with no AC. Walk in there and charge them what you want to charge them. Because they need it, baby. Hey, Alex, thank you for coming in. Getting the uneducated trolls out. I appreciate you. Uh, Hey, Miss Carla. Good evening. Thank you for the roses. The medical field and law enforcement are good working fields, and they'll always be there, and they'll always be needed. You're going to have to always have somebody to take care of you in the medical field, one capacity or another, from the beginning to the end of life. Okay? And, and, and then a lawyer is always going to be needed. And there are many different kinds of lawyers out there. You got to decide what type of lawyer you want to be. Yep. You might want to be a corporate lawyer. You might want to be a lawyer that handles nothing but divorces. You might want to be a real estate lawyer. Pick the type of work you want to do. You might want to be one of them car chasing lawyers. Uh, Jim Adler here in Houston area. You will get your money, baby. That's what he say on the TV. Okay. This is sad. Hey, Naptown, how you doing? Thank you, Alex, for getting these uneducated folks out of here. I'm trying to talk to them. 
So y'all just, once she deletes you, sit back, relax, and let Miss V tell you what's really going on, okay? I'm trying not to miss nobody here. All right. So, I was telling you to start talking to your children right now. It, that, look, tell them don't waste my money. If y'all really don't want to go to college and that ain't your forte, tell me what you want to do and we're going to go in that direction. Start tonight talking to them, okay? If you haven't already. Don't wait till they walk across the stage because they already got in their mind what they're going to do then. Y'all ain't even talked about it. You might get the surprise of your life. Don't wait. Now I'm telling you. A graduation is the awarding of a diploma by an educational institution. That's all it is. It may also be referred to as a ceremony that is associated with a commencement. It might be called that. I've never heard it called a congregation, but that's what the research says. A convocation. Never heard of that. I only heard of a commencement. A graduation. That's it. Or an invocation. Yeah, I guess in different parts of the country, it might be called different things. The date of the graduation is called graduation day. Just that simple. That would be one of the most proudest moments in a parent's life. For the first time their child graduates, which might be kindergarten, they'll be just as proud of you graduating from kindergarten as they're going to be you graduating from high school or middle school or junior high school. It's a proud moment because the parents have lived long enough to know that that's a stepping stone to a better life every time you come across that stage. And they ain't got to come get you out of jail. You ain't out there uh, laid up making a bunch of babies or in jail or whatever. No. So what is the purpose of graduating anyway? It's an honored tradition that holds immense importance in a student's life. It symbolizes the culmination of that academic journey and marks the beginning of a new chapter in their life. Think back. That's exactly what it did for you. Okay. Thank you, mister, for telling them to hit that like button up in the right hand corner. It's the three dots. Please hit that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Once I get past all the uneducated, ignorant people, I get to a comment. All right. Um, I'm trying not to miss none of y'all. Hi, Miss Marjorie. How you doing? I just saw you stepped in the building. And... Alex is saying, Queen Miss V, much love to you. Much love back to you. And all my little sugar wiggles in the chat. Hey, to just how's it going? Stay. I think a good lawyer should be well-rounded in every kind of law. That's going to be very hard to do, Sting, because it takes you a minute to become a lawyer. My little nephews went uh, and got a four-year degree first. The fifth year was the master's degree, and the sixth year was the law degree, and then they had to go past the bar. And they got one of the hardest bars over there in Louisiana with them Napoleonic laws that ain't changed since uh, Napoleon was alive. Okay. So I'm not sure if they could be well-rounded in every kind of law. That's why they specialize. That's, that's a little bit difficult. Just knowing the law, because a lot of laws change so frequently too. Some laws remain the same. But they always adding laws and they taking away laws because laws changed from the time I moved back to Texas from Maryland. The, what was it? The settlement, I'm going to call it, from my husband that they found at Fidelity that didn't have a beneficiary on it and they called me. 
I had to go back and probate that. They just couldn't give it to me because they had changed the law since he passed, which was a couple of years ago. Okay. Uh, two things that will never close. The hospital and the jailhouse. Good working fields. Most of my family went into the legal system except for me and my sister. She went into insurance and I've had a multitude of different trades um, in my lifetime. It depended on where we moved to and what I wanted to do. After I, my very first job, I just, if I wanted to go to the airport or airline, that was something I've always wanted to do. That's what it did. Yeah. Um, speaking of education, I'm exalt, exalted from helping my daughter's school work. I don't remember my parents helping me as much as I, as I am. Probably we didn't have to. We had that encyclopedia, uh, to just, and we had a dictionary. And we went to the library and we checked out a lot of books. Things are different now. Everything is computerized now. And the way they're teaching now is totally different than years gone by. Let me put it that way. So I remember helping my daughter a lot with her science projects. And other than that, I didn't have to help her with the rest of English, math, none of that. Mm -mm. But when it came to science, she wasn't as good in science as I was. So she would always come in and say, Mama, I got to do this science project. And I'd be thinking, okay, well, why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? And then, of course, I had to help her with the project. But she wanted to excel in everything. So she went to a lot of science fairs down in Austin. Hey, Coffee No Cream, good evening. How you doing? So the purpose of graduation, I was telling you, it's an honored tradition. And it symbolizes a cultivation of everything that you've done up to that point. So it should be a day of celebration, reflection, and gratitude that graduates will cherish for the rest of their life. It's a big deal. To show people how proud you are of your hard work. And parents, how proud you are of your children. Uh, let me see. I got a member here. Coffee No Cream, thank you for renewing your membership. I appreciate that. The ceremony gives you a chance to showcase yourself as a role model in real time. When you walk across this stage, you are in real time. So you are showcasing what you have done. You don't have to be valedictorian. You don't have to be salutatorian to showcase you made it. You walked. But just remember, that might not be enough for you to survive in 2024. Like we did in the 70s, 80s, the 90s, and early 2000s. You are competing against the world now. People from around the world because we're global. Keep that in mind. Okay? Start thinking about what you want to do. Where you want to go. How much is it going to cost? And y'all sit down and discuss that together. It might have to go to a junior college first. I don't know. I don't know your finances. It's none of my business. Get two years out the way. But be sure and very sure that those classes you take at that junior college are going to be accepted at the college you want to go to. Don't you waste the time and money. All right? The ceremony gives you a chance to showcase yourself as a role model in real time. Everyone can see the results of your hard work and your hard effort. Graduating from college is a bigger achievement and a life goal. It closes that university life because that university life is different. It's your first time away from home on your own with people that are strange you do not know. 
You have to make your own decisions now. Mama is not there. You got to become disciplined. Mama is not going to tell you go to your room anymore and do your homework. You got to be able to do it on your own. If you end up in a quarter system college like Miss V did, every three months is like a semester. You cannot afford to fail a test. You fail one test, the best you can get out the class is a C. And that's what making two A's. I will suggest that if you don't have discipline about yourself, or you don't have some strict parents like I did, that to tell you, don't look, you better bring them grades home. Uh, you need to go on and find you a job, get out of my house, go to the military, do something, because I got another one behind you that's stuck in my head, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So once you graduate from college, it closes that university life, and it opens up new beginnings and challenges associated with taking on a more adult role in society. So my trolls have taken on an adult role. It's no way their college degree because they know once you've been through them college doors, that's a waste of time and money when you could be doing something that will better you in life and help you make some money. Over here trolling. Trolling from chat to chat. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Okay. There's no requirements to attend a graduation. You, you do not have to attend. You will still get your diploma. But later on in life, you may feel like you've missed out on something because you didn't walk the stage. It's like not having a wedding and then years later looking back wishing you had. You can always do it, but you won't be that age you were when you got married. Yeah. Same thing with graduation. You can hit the next one, but it won't be the college. It'll be the master's, 30 plus, a specialized in something. The ceremonies only last about 90 minutes. Now, I'm not going to tell you that they all are going to be laughable and, oh, it's going to be so exciting and you're going to have a speaker that's going to be knocking you off your feet with telling you all these wonderful things. Uh-uh. Some of them can be very boring depending on who's the speaker. But sit through it. It's only 90 minutes of your life. Okay? A good amount of money. What should you spend on a graduation gift? What do y'all think you should spend for non-relatives or just an acquaintance? What, what do you think is a good amount? Hey, Keisha, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. Hey, Zaza, good evening. Hey to everyone. This is from Yo-Yo. What do you think you should spend on a graduation present? Hit the like button up in the right-hand corner. Thank you. For a... Non-family member or an acquaintance. Thank you, Dor, for the four ninety nine. dollars I appreciate it. Thank you very much. To just that they will receive trolling certificates. I ain't giving them nothing. I'm not wasting no paper on them, uh, to just. Hey, Shamika, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a minute. Glad you're back. Everyone entering or leaving, will you please hit the like button? Alice is on that like button, baby. The three dots up in the right-hand corner. Thank you, Alex. Um, to just that I was the happiest girl on my graduation. I was just confused as all get out. At my college graduation, I was sitting there. I don't know what the speaker spoke. My mind was on. Now you've done it. You walked across the stage. Where do you go from here? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to go to work, but I knew I had to do something. So what did I do? I turned around and told my parents I was going back again because I wasn't ready to get out. <laughs> so I went and got another degree, took another year and got another degree. The second time around, I was looking like, okay, I really need to get off of them now because 
I need to go make some money to help them with my little sister, get her through college. So that's what I did. But it wasn't an easy decision because at that point, I knew I had to leave Louisiana. The money wasn't there. And I had to make a decision on where you're going. So I started out in Texas. And if I hadn't made it here and landed the job that I wanted, I was headed to California to my mom's sister that lived in California. She worked for the IRS, and that's where I was headed with her. And I guess I would have got me a job with the IRS, okay, like she had. But it worked out here for me in Texas. Um, thank you, Dual Torn. Thank you for the blessing. To Jesse said, I would get you, did it balloons? Oh, okay, I see what you said. Get did it balloons? Okay. Two base says 50 to $100. Well, the research says 50 to $100, two base. For family members, uh, close friends, and immediate family members, it said. But for distant relatives and acquaintances, it said 20 to 50. So Keisha says 50 to 100. Okay, okay. That's a good gift. All right. You guess you're fugal? Oh, to just, you, you were in another country too. Y'all's customs might be a bit different. Okay, it's back the normal way, Keisha. Okay, thank you, because, oh, I didn't like having to tell them to go up in the, thank you, Keisha, because I don't know. Mine has never not shown down there, even when they were saying go back up there. So just hit the like button for me. Thank you, Keisha. Okay. Should make a two base, I said, 20 to 50, 25 to 50. Okay, and that would have been for acquaintances and distant relatives is what the research said for the money that you would give for graduation. And 50 to 100 for close friends and immediate family members. Nap time, hey, hey, hey. She says $100 also, okay? Y'all right in the ballpark. Hey, JP. Okay, so let me get on down here with the rest of it. So, I'm going to tell you the best gift I got. Now, y'all got to remember, I graduated in 1976 and then went back and got the second degree and came out uh, February of 78. So, the best gift that I got from high school going to college was a friend of my mother. She was a school teacher. She gave me a Bible. Having been in church all my life, I didn't think I needed that Bible. I'm going to college. I'm going to have some fun if I can. I'm going to study. I'm going to get these grades. But a Bible? When I saw that, I put it in my suitcase and I took it with me. And it laid there for a while. But the first time I had a knockdown struggle in college, I picked that bad boy up. And I went to the back and I started looking to see what my problem was, if it was going to tell me where to go, and it did. And I kept it open the whole time. Didn't go to church much. Um, I think I remember going maybe once or twice. Because the first year I didn't even have a car. And I didn't know where no churches were and I didn't know nobody. And if I wanted to go, I went home because I only lived like 35 miles from the um campus so either my parents would come over and pick me up or somebody was going that way and i'd hook a ride okay keisha said that's too little for immediate family members uh okay keisha all right i'm not gonna say it's not um bible the best gift okay my aunt gave my sister a car and gave me the equivalent in money a little less but keisha everybody can't afford to do that now we just gotta be real about that yeah that's nice if she could afford to do that but you know everybody can't afford to give some people barely making it on their own but they love the folks so if they can afford to give them 50 or 100 dollars they can yeah you just a blessed person love that's all but anyway, uh, tech devices are nice to give us as, as college gifts. 
you know, computers and laptops, that, that kind of stuff. Cell phones. Yeah. They might need one. Mm -hmm. An upgrade. Um, gift cards. If you're not going to give money, and they can go buy what they want. And you can get a card like Keisha got. Uh, her aunt gave the sister an equivalent of the money. And that was in 1991. Okay, Keisha. All right. Moving on. Let me give you a quote that I want y'all to keep in mind. A mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work if it doesn't open. Remember that. Today, you are you. Truer than true. There is no one alive who is your than you. And I spell that Y-O-U, U-R, E-R. You are than you. Y'all get it? Okay. Now, from the spiritual side of things, graduation means the passing of time, maturing of, of self, and the recognition of no turning back. That's what it means from a spiritual standpoint. Let me go back up. I'm missing somebody. I love you. You keep it real. I ain't get, look, I'm too old to keep it anything else, Keisha, but I appreciate that. Frederick Johansson, so you saying people that has money got lucky? Nope, I didn't say that. I said she was lucky that she got a car and her sister, no, she got the money and her sister got a car. I don't think uh, money comes by luck. I think it comes by hard work, being very intelligent, out thinking, stepping outside of the box, Frederick, and getting a degree, having some knowledge, and being truly blessed by the good Lord up above. And I don't think money has anything to do with luck. Every now and then, you may get lucky, but that's still a blessing, okay? Um, my mother didn't because she couldn't. So I understand. Okay. Classy ladies in the building. Hey, classy lady. Times are way harder these days. Be thankful for whatever. People want to be too bougie. Yeah, you, you have to because, um, everything has gone up in price since the pandemic. And a lot of changes may have come in your life. I'm Widdered now, whereas before I was married with a band making money with insurance. It's just me now. So I have to live off of what I have, what he left, what I make. That's it. That's all. And I thank God that I am where I am because it could have been worse. Maybe we were not the kind of people who invested or saved anything. Where would I be now? In bad shape. Um, Alex is saying, Frederick, we don't have time to argue. Frederick, don't do that. We, You'll get out of here. We don't argue over here. We agree to disagree, okay? But we don't argue. Thank you, Alex. Um, so, your graduation is a testament to your hard work, your dedication, and your commitment. It is important to celebrate it because it is a symbol that things are changing in your life and that your life will never be the same. It will always be different from that point on because of the knowledge you have acquired. You will be in a different environment with different people and it is really nice to celebrate what you have achieved. Appreciate the memories for part of your education. This is what you have been given. Um, okay, Keisha is saying, I don't believe he was arguing. He may have money and really 
wanted Miss V's perspective. Okay, well, he got it. Um, and I think he was timed out anyway, but if he came in and they felt like he was arguing, I've let them take control of the stick and do what they got to do. James Grant, the lips with no teeth drooping. Bye. See you later. Cause that makes no sense. Sting, um, is saying, hello, queen. Nice to see you. Much love. Okay. You're talking to her. Um, Keisha say he got it. Okay. Um, Damn, the ignorant troll that just came in made me lose my thought. I was on the quotes. You can do and be everything. Notice I didn't say anything. I said everything. That's all inclusive, okay? If you were born with a weakness to fall, you were born with the strength to rise. Do one thing every day outside the box keep smiling because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about the lord will bless you and he will keep you through it all he will show and his smiling face upon you the lord will turn his face towards you and give you peace Remember, your life is your adventure, and the adventure ahead of you is a journey. It's a journey to fulfill your purpose, not mine. It may have been hard to earn this degree that you may be receiving in May or early June. But it's exciting. It's adventurous. So go out and discover the world. Find you, land you that job that affords you to go out and see life. You may have to take it in stepping stones. But eventually, if you keep, if you keep going, you will get there. You may have to go back and get more education to get to where you are trying to go or specialize in where you're trying to go. You may have to add a second career field. A lot of people do real estate on the side to make extra money along with their job. I advise you, with a college degree, always have a trade skill. Always. Anything could happen to that job. But if you got a trade skill, you can never miss a paycheck. A barber. All of those things I name, electrician, a plumber, uh, something in the technical field with computers that you can just pick up the phone and keep it working until you find a, land another job making money or you go back to that one, okay? Um, something else I want to tell y'all, shoot for the moon the stars, and the sky. And if you fall a little short, so what? It's okay. Because guess what? You're still ahead of your counterparts that never even put forth an effort. Congratulations to the 2024 graduates, their parents, family, and friends, and to all of you who may have someone that has accomplished this mission and may be walking the stage next month. This has been my tribute to the graduates of 2024. I have read most of the comments. Hope I haven't missed anybody. Please like, share, and subscribe to Chatting with Miss B. I will be back tomorrow with another interesting, exciting topic. If you have a topic you want to discuss, please drop it in the chat or after the live is over, drop it into the comment. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.